honestly, we meant well by Grant Ginder, G-I-N-D-E-R. I think I've I've read I've read about two hours. I've listened to about two hours of this on audio, and I don't think I'm going to continue. It's one of these books that's supposed to be rollicking, good fun, satiric, um, and it's kind of boring and just mediocre with characters that haven't really popped yet it's one of these things of like they're all going to greece and it's it's obviously going to be tourist tourist greece where you know sun dappled and all that and and they're all kind of boring cliched people or just you know not just people that you just kind of lay there um, you know, Sue Ellen is kind of suffering through, um, teaching undergrads, um, their, you know, archaeology, which she apparently volunteers for, and she's, she's arguing with the bro dude who says, no, that's a bong. It's like, no, that's some kind of a sacred urn thing. It's like, no, it's a bong, man. You just don't know. And it's like, Okay, and this is sort of, instead of just being kind of brain damaged, this is supposed to be an example of young male entitlement. So there's that. Her husband is an is a novelist who uh, has an affair and gets caught, and they're going to couples counseling, and now he's saying, like, oh, let's go to Greece with you because he's trying to rebuild the thing, but he's kind of an ass... Their son is really an ass who, you know, insists on being part of an MFA program. You know, I think it's an MFA program. God, I think it's MFA, creative writing, where he's kind of recognized he has none of the skill. He's got his father's good boyish good looks, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have, the, you know, the, any actual skills that he discovered. But so for his final thesis thing he plagiarizes one of his father's unpublished stories which is going to get published in a magazine which is like uh yeah and he's he's kind of an ass he's an ass told to the uh to the uh, stewardess and you know stewardess has to kind of lay down the law with him there's that there is um the owner of the inn that they're going to who doesn't want to be the owner of the inn uh and with the greek financial crisis um her father forces her to come back and then he dies about a year later and now she has to hold on to this to this inn for two years before she can sell it and it's coming up on that and she's indeed found a buyer and i'm sure their lives will be changed but yeah, yeah, kind of listing all of this stuff is just like, meh. It's there's nothing that really sparkles. There's nothing that really pops. Nothing that's particularly funny at all. It's just there, which is probably a good time as any to say, okay, other books. Another book is also coming on audio. Let's just go off to that. So that is my why I did not read, did not finish. Um, honestly. We meant well. I think it was "We Meant Well" by Grant Kind Kinder. It's it's sort of it's really got the kind of the beach read feel to it, of like ah, oh, it's char it's char tourists on vacation in Greece, and their wacky adventure. It's just like, uh, the people that you would want to avoid on vacation in Greece. So, I'm going to avoid them. All right, I've been Jay. More videos later.